I was going everybody it's gorilla man here back with another car mechanic sim 2021 video in today's video I got a junkyard Ford Bronco 1975 mark one I think yep uh I'm gonna be just completely just restoring it back to what it looks like in this picture pretty much I don't know if I'll go with this color per se but I'm gonna be restoring it exactly the same way that this one looks uh, so I'm pretty excited. So let's get started with that. While you're in the shop waiting on your next customer order to come on in, you can kick back, relax, and play today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends, the free, massively popular game on mobile and PC. Raid Shadow Legends has a lot to offer, more than 700 unique champions which can be used for different strategies and teams to complete the most difficult challenges such as dungeons, bosses, and even PvP arenas. Raid is also full of surprises, updates, are happening every month with new events, champions, and levels waiting for you to explore. The game is loved by millions of people around the world and is available on both mobile and PC for free due to its high quality graphics, which can be guaranteed to give you a PC-like experience even on your phone. The game also has great lore, which you can already explore through Raid Call of the Arbor. It's an awesome new limited series, which tells you more about the characters and their background. Raid is also adding in some champions from this series like Artak, a mighty orc or lord. What's super cool with our attack is he's going to be available to everyone for free. All you have to do is just log into Raid for 7 days between now and July 24th. If you've already seen episode 1 of Call of the Arbor, you'll definitely want this guy. If you haven't seen it yet, what are you waiting for? Go check it out and then remember to log in for 7 days to get our attack. With all this exciting stuff and more coming to Raid, if you haven't started playing it, then what are you waiting for? New players can use my link or scan the QR code right here to get a free starter pack with this cool in-game loot. Each accomplished tutorial helps me boost the content quality and get even more videos out for you guys. Just hit my link in the description below, pass the tutorial, and I'll see you in the game. Probably just tear it apart first. Let's get all the, all the stuff off. This one was pretty cheap. I think it was only, what was it, like 3,000? 4,000. Or no, 5,000. 5,000 is what the purchase price was. Let's see. These ones always got weird rear clamshell pieces and extra fenders come off. It's missing one. What's it look like now? Oh yeah. Ooh, it's got a VA double over it. Okay, it's ideally I would have done an older one. I might switch it out. Oh, that's probably a brand. It's the brand new coyote. Hmm. Maybe I'll just do the 4x4. Four four. So not quite exactly replica, but... I think these are all painted parts, too. I think the current factory stock color on here is a navy color, so... I may be going to that, that olive slash army green color instead. What is it? Yep, definitely turned it back to its navy. All right, let's assemble. Oh, this is going to be rough. Got to assemble what I have. Did I repair? Okay, I did repair that. Did repair that. And then I think just front end is the only things I had saved. And a bumper? Yep. So, stock bumper, no chrome or color or anything. One. Okay. Gonna get off of this. Alright. New cars. Let's see. Tail light B. Okay, I'm gonna switch off the tail light Bs and get to the normal ones. Uh, give me this trunk, this one, that side mirror. Ooh, right fender, rear. Those ones are meant for big tires, it looks like. So is that one E? Let me get E of the same one. Rear right door, I'll buy that, don't know what it is. Ooh, this is soft top right now. I think I'm gonna do 
whichever this one is 19,000 credits is quite a bit and then bumpers stock left door stock uh, oh there's no handle on that okay normal hood normal light two windows Ooh, front fenders with the logo for sure um our part to be give me this one not really sure what this one's for but we'll pick it up as well all right i bought a lot there oh okay Okay, yeah, I'm definitely reverting this. This was definitely made to be aftermarket. I'm reverting it back for sure. Yeah, I like those mirrors. They do sit over quite a ways. Uh, do I have one of these? Okay, car part one. I don't think I want to do car part one necessarily. I don't really want to cage. I don't really want to cage this one. That's better. I remember I did make one of these in Car Mechanics in 2018, and it was, and I absolutely decked it out, and it was crazy fast. Let's see, does this one over here have the red? Yep. Make sure I swap this to the the chrome lined. Oh, oh I think I put it in the same one. Trunk. Chrome. Part two. I do have some interior trim. Or part one. Anything else? Alright, we're gonna move this really quick. I forgot to do a wash. That is my bad. I forgot to do an interior wash, exterior wash. Start with an exterior. Oh, uh, new paint or new, new parts. I don't think it really matters too much. Wait, I think that did. Did that shine it up? Or, I can't tell. Looks like it shined it up. In the back, yeah, the dash was pretty dusty. All right, let's get this seat out of here. Two seats and a steering wheel. Let's see interior shop. We're kind of kind of trying to go classic, so I don't think headrests. Not bucket, but no headrest. Trying to see what I think is the most time appropriate. Okay, well here I'll grab a wheel first. Give me a, give me a wood wheel. Uh, this one. Oh, there we go. That one. Maybe the roulette seats or the supernova seats. I'm trying to decide. Yeah, we'll go with. The supernova seats seems like it'll be more of a square blocky type let's see how that looks yeah yeah it look, does look pretty good a little low i'm not gonna lie definitely a bit on the lower half or lower side but we'll take it we'll take it uh i definitely need back glass in this Is there a rear window? Tinted rear left door. Windshield. Rear right door. Oh, that's probably for a two. It's definitely for a, a four door version. 
check and see what this 88% on the body. Right, let's pick up two plates really quick and see if that completes it. I'm definitely going with my Iowa plates. Good old Iowa plates. Get some plates on here, get two wheels on, and make it start, and then it's he's road legal. All right, let's see what it looks like now. 96. So I think if I add that one roll cage piece in, it'll it'll be good. I'll add it in just for now just to see. Two, that's already in. Oh, okay. That one's not as bad, actually. And then does it make 100? It does. All right. What's the value now? Look at that. Okay, I guess I did add a $19,000 topper on the back, so take that with the grain of salt. I'm trying to figure out why these are silver here. If that doesn't match over, if it doesn't go silver, into, I might have to swap out these fenders if they don't work. It's the rear fenders. Yeah, I got the E's. Is there a raise? Maybe I want a D. Hmm. I'm unsure. I'm unsure. All right. Move it on back. Uh, Carl, it's A. Let's get it up on the hoist. Or the lift, I should say. Definitely a lot. Oh, ooh, she rusty. A lot of uh, a lot of sub work to be done here. Pop this guy off. Okay. Trying to think. Trying to think. Get this going next. I gotta get this motor out. Yeah, I think I'll stick with the stock 4x4 V8. Uh, it's exhaust pipe, so it doesn't have any interference issues. Um, that's missing the oil pan. Still need to finish my Land Rover Defender there. That hood open. Give me that. Ooh, this thing is definitely looks a bit more on the restored side now that I got everything out of here that radiator out got a one clip only it is use box Roger Roger it's all good and I think I'm good there. Let me plop this one up over here. I was thinking maybe I had a V8 that was already done, but nope. This thing's honestly like halfway torn apart already. Over halfway torn apart, actually. Dang, that is that is brutal. This in the end looks like we got two. I forgot the braking here. I mean, we're, I'm definitely going to give it like the best braking, but I'm not going to go too crazy on the aftermarket. I mean, I'll probably boost the engine, but other than that, I won't go. I won't have it looking too crazy, I should say. It'll still be cool, though. It'll still be very cool. I'm going to grab four of these. The normal things you got to always grab is two tie rods uh, I'll usually grab 10 of each bushing because I'll probably end up using over 10 of each bushing at least what other single use items are there oh yeah hubs let me go look at the hub real quick front drive axle a okay just the hubs in the rear yep hub three uh, two bangs. All right, 
I'm gonna start my disassembly here and I'll see you guys back with this all shiny brand new steel ready ready to be uh, mounted with some some nice looking tires not sure what we're gonna do yet but we'll figure it out Alrighty, I got the underside completely rebuilt it's brand new suspension everything brakes included performance brakes you know the, the the slotted rotors and everything so this is what the let me reload this it's what the stock wheel config looks like uh, I definitely think I want to boost it up a wee bit let me figure out what it is it is a 310 55 18 and I think the 310 and 55 are fine but I think I want to put this on a 20 inch rim. So let me see. Is there what, what do I got in here for Ford? No. Let's see, classic. What should I do for the classics? I feel like this is the only one that could maybe be close. So we'll do 20. Four of them. And then 310 by 55. And we'll go off-road tires. Sad that they don't have vintage off-road. Let's see. Which one do I want? Give me, give me this tread pattern. The tread pattern's a little bit less aggressive. 20 by 310 width. Get some thick, thick tires. Only three or five. That's I guess the closest I can get. Not too expensive for off-roads. And I'm going to keep the chrome look. What does this have on its stock? I think it just has... Oh. I don't know about those. We'll try these. I might switch to those. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Not bad. I don't know if I like it, though. Let me find those other ones that they were showing in the preview image they gave me steelies but that's because it was a junkyard find was it one of these classics in here no it was like a deep inset one the gt40s are cool if they didn't have that little spinner on it Retro 01. Although I don't think it's Retro 01. But it's close. Retro 03. Nope, it's flat in the center. Oh, it is Retro. Is it Retro 01? I think it is Retro 01. Yeah. All right, I'm going to switch actually to retro ones. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to switch to retro ones. All right, there it is. With the black, it doesn't look too good, but it's definitely, I'm pretty sure, the correct rim here. Uh, I don't know. Either that or it's close. It's close enough, I think. I don't know. I might swap it again, honestly. I don't know. Uh, but that's what I'll be sticking with for now. Probably just so I can at least get it rolling i gotta get the motor in before i can actually get it rolling but there we go hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like and a comment down below uh, i'm gonna swap out these headlights actually i'm pretty sure yeah we're swapping out to the to the clear ones yep oh that looks actually a bit better uh but let me know what you guys think of this bronco it's definitely i'm, I'm restoring it back to it's like original state compared to this bronco i did when obviously this one is lowered with supercharger and everything so yeah kind of definitely a big difference here but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next car mechanic simulator 2021 video